Hey, Mike Gates, Mike in Colorado here. And today I just wanted to do a, a video on how to redirect from a Builder All Cheetah page to another website. Now there are a couple of times that I have used this, a couple of use cases. One is where I have a site where someone signs up to a, an email list and then that email list it sends them a code to be able to use a free service that I offer. And after they um, sign up with their email address, I'd redirect them to a page where I want to offer them something else, another product, um, or builder all in this case. Um, and what I can do is I can just create my own page, have them go to that page, and then, um, you know, they can sign up from builder all there. But if I want to send them to one of the builder all funnel pages, uh, for instance, the funnel club page, then I don't have control of that page. And I want to first let people know that, yes, they have signed up to my list. They should be looking in their email for the code to sign up to my for, to my service. So I want them to know that. And if I send them directly to a builder all page, then I can't do that. <clears throat> so what I've done is I've set up a redirect page inside of Cheetah. So they go to that redirect page. Um, there's a message that flashes up that says, hey, uh, make sure you check your email for your code to finish your registration. And then it, and then I have something else I'd like you to see, and then it redirects them to the uh, Builder All site. Another use case is say you've got a site uh, that you have, um, that's your main site, that's your branded site, and you want people, so you're carrying a business card with you, for example, and you say to someone, hey, this is my main site, but this is a service I offer. So go to my main site, type in mymainsite.com, and then forward slash reputation, for example, for reputation services. And then uh, via that, it will redirect them to the uh, reputation software that, that I'm using in this case. So uh, we'll get on the computer here and I'll show you how both of those work. Okay, from our back office, let's go into the Cheetah Builder. I've already got that opened here. And you can see here that I've got three pages here. And these three pages have different redirect code that take uh, the visitor to different pages. So uh, I'll just go ahead and show you. So if you go to the home page and they say, go to this page, it'll pop up and it'll give them a little war warning to check their email. And then I have something else you might like. And then it goes over to the Builder All page. And this is really uh, very simple to do. So let's just create a new page. And we'll just show you here. So uh, we'll call this Redirect and we'll just save that. Now, in order to make this redirect code work, what we want to do is in the settings where we just were, we could have just done it from there, of course. We need to find the meta tag code that will go in this meta tag. So what you can do is go to Google and just type in HTML meta redirect. And then go here and just get the code scroll down to where you see the code and you'll see this meta http equal refresh content so this content equals zero this is the delay that you want the page to display before it does a redirect in this case it's zero seconds you can set it for five ten whatever you want to do and then the url you want it to redirect to so let's just uh copy that and we'll go back over to Cheetah. We'll paste that in here. Let's set that for like, uh, I don't know, five seconds. And let's send it to google.com. Uh, slash here. Okay, and then we'll just save that. Now, um, something that I discovered with my testing is, is this. So I have this home page, and on this home page, so I tell people to go check their email for this registration code, 
and then I have this little animated object, and then it redirects. Now on the page that we just created, which is just this redirect page, as you can see, there's nothing on this page. But if we go here and we do this redirect, we go to the website page, you'll see that it loads up the same thing that you see on your home page. And then there she goes, she goes to Google. So um, what's interesting about that is if you can just create a home page, a main page, and then you can just create new redirect pages and you don't even have to put anything on those pages. But let's say that we do want to change this up a little bit. So let's go to that redirect page and we'll add a panel. And for the text, um, what do we want to say? We'll say please check the email and click on the subscribe link or whatever the something you can do much better than that anyway here we go okay so so we're just going to display this message real quick and then we're going to add an element we'll add an animated element and this is the element that i chose right here so let's just drag that over there and just to make it look different than the other page that we did, we'll, we'll make it bright red. Okay, then we'll save that. And that's fine. Close. And then we'll go back over here. Now, something that... Um, you probably noticed is that sometimes after you publish a page it takes a few minutes for it to actually get created and be ready to load let's see if we're ready to go here now we're still at the old page so I'm going to do a control F5 sometimes that works there we go so the control F5 from my understanding is that it does a uh, a, a cache clear um, from your browser so now it's working so now if we go to that somebody goes to that redirect page then there's the red bar it's going to wait five seconds and it's off to google so that's really how simple it is um, so that's that's one way that i've used the redirect another way uh, let me go. I've actually got this in a different browser. Let's go over here. Um, go to Chia. And in this case, I've got this website here that is going to be my agency website. And in this case, I I don't have my page done yet, but um, I've got these redirects, redirect links set up going to uh, basically what are uh, tools, um, and I've got an affiliate link in these pages. And so when you load one of these pages, you'll see that basically the same thing is going on. Um, hold on, that, didn't, that wasn't one I maybe I wanted to do.
Yeah. So in that case, I just used a uh, an image. So in this case, um, instead of using the progress bar, I just put on put an image on the page because there is just a a slight delay uh, when the page is loaded in. Uh, if you have it blank, and then it's going to show what's on the main page. And I really didn't want that to happen. So, again, just um, I just put a little image on the page and tell it to go to the page. Just so there's something to display. Well, it's redirect. So that's really as easy it is to add redirect links to a web page. Um, and the reason I did this again is, let's say, once I have my agency site done, I give my business card to someone and say, hey, come visit me at Gates Digital Marketing. And if I'm talking to them about reputation management, I'll say, come visit me. Here's my website, Gates Digital Marketing. If you're interested in reputation management, then just put a forward slash reputation, and then it would go to this page. Now, eventually, I'll redo this page and make it just a, a page on my site. Uh, but for now, I, I'm just redirecting basically to an affiliate link. And so those are a couple of reasons that you might want to use a redirect link. I hope this was helpful. Um, if so, let me know in the comments. Like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you later.